the idea that we are somehow a national security threat to the United States is quite frankly insulting and unacceptable. Canada faces itself in a bit of a tariff war with our closest ally, the United States. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau hitting the U.S. talk circuit just over the weekend to talk about what the reality is for our country. Warren Kinsella, liberal strategist, has won a few winning war rooms with uh, former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien. Your view, how has the, um, kid, the Liberal government performed on this against what is our be best and closest ally? I think he's done well in the past few days. I just wish he had been more mm -hmm. firm and more strong at the start. You know, the view had been that Trudeau was the Trump whisperer and they had 30 phone calls and Justin was hanging out with Ivanka mm -hmm. and so on. And But that didn't get us anywhere. It clearly yeah. didn't achieve anything. Yeah. I think what he should have done is what my former boss, Kretzian, would have done or his own father which is, you know, have some firmness mixed in with mm -hmm. the friendship yeah. and be tougher. Because now, I mean, look at the coverage he's getting in the States. A lot of Americans, a lot of people in Congress approve of that. This is what he should have done from the outset. Yeah, so there's also been some suggestion, uh, you know, not only from if being a former Liberal Prime Minister, and how they would have handled it, but also how Prime Minister Harper would have handled something like this would have been the suggestion that there would have been the firm hand. But yes, we also, uh, on this side of the border, uh, need, to, need to benefit from this. But even if we were to go back to the, the last presidential election. There's a reason why uh, Trump won Wisconsin and Michigan. Um, they're going into midterms, contentious ones. There's some suggestion they may lose seats, who they may gain seats in the Senate. It's anyone's guess at this point. So how does that benefit um, the U.S. to be so ardent and steadfast with us at this point? Well, I mean, I, I'm going to shock you here because I'm actually about to defend <laughs> Donald Trump. It's like something you don't... But, I mean, if he was elected on one premise, it was to be the protectionist president, mm -hmm. right? He's doing the one thing above all that he said he would do. Yeah. All the other stuff that he, he promised to do, he really hasn't. But this is one mm -hmm. where he's made good on his word. Yeah. So this is why I thought the Trudeau guys should have never been surprised or expressed surprise about what Trump's doing. Trump's doing what he said he was going to do. And as you point yeah. out, it's popular with that American heartland who voted for Trump in the first place. So there is um, the, this notion coming out of the federal government from Christian Freeland, our minister responsible from the prime minister, that there is uh, some tools in Canada's toolkit, so to speak, that we can escalate this ourselves. What exactly are those tools? Well, they're doing the uh, response tariffs. So they're hitting them with maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> all that kind of good Canadian stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think what they need to be doing is ramping up their uh, lobby of co congressmen. I mean, the thing that a lot of Canadians don't know is Democrats historically tend to be more protectionist mm -hmm. than Republicans. That's why I thought they should have been there earlier, getting those Republicans on side because the Republicans are the party of free trade in the United States. The problem is a lot of those moderate, sensible Republicans are now leaving because they fear getting defeated in the midterm. So I think this is the beginning of a significant trade war because Trump is going to be He's still president, and you're going to have a protectionist Democratic Congress. Not a great few weeks for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau because this uh, tar tariff war issue coming on the heels of Canadians being one 36 millionth owners of a pipeline. So, taxpayers of Canada, you're now on the hook for multi, multi billions of dollars. And eventually we're supposed to sell it back to the private sector. But uh, Warren, yet again, this is a head scratcher. Um, I believe one of those sorts of situations where the federal government, the liberal government, should have been a little bit more at the, at the table, been a little more steadfast. But instead, they've allowed B.C., the premier of B.C., to hold us hostage. Yeah, and it's disgraceful what John Horgan has done. I, re I do feel a bit of sympathy for Trudeau here. You know, he is going to lose seats now in B.C. because... What Horgan's position was popular in the Lower Mainland, and he's going to probably lose all of those Calgary mm -hmm. seats because Jason Kenney and others are upset. Um, I think what he probably should have done at the outset is constitutionalized the pipeline, mm -hmm. made it an entirely federal jurisdiction under Section 92 of the Constitution Act. Sorry to become a lawyer on you. That's okay. But what that would have <laughs> had the effect of doing is just eliminating any Horgan opportunity to oppose the thing. Uh, but I guess he figured the better way of dealing with it was buying it. All right, let's fast forward to 2019 federal election from the gaftastic Indian uh, trip to India to uh, having a terrorist invited to his, his state dinners, uh, the, the pipeline tariff wars, how he's handled international relations. 
How would you grade Justin Trudeau going into the 2019 election? He's been knocked around. He's been bruised. And, you know, it's not just me saying it. The polls show that. So I think India was a real gut check moment yeah. for these guys. Yeah. And they realized that he was doing things there, you know, the selfie prime yeah. minister, that he just can't do anymore. He's got to be more of a grown up. So since India, he's changed, but he definitely caused some lasting damage to his image. And that's a problem because this government without Justin Trudeau is in big, big trouble. So it'll be interesting to see over the next year whether he can keep pulling it back. Because right now, Andrew Scheer, who's not exactly, you know, matinee idol or the that's most right. exciting guy on earth, is competitive with Justin Trudeau. Yeah, is benefiting from uh, Trudeau's hiccups uh, on, uh, on his own. Well, we'll see if it's more sunny ways or just gloomy days for, for Justin Trudeau <laughs> in 2019. Want to hear more from Warren? Log on to Kinsella Cast on iTunes and Google Play. And we want to hear from you. Log on to Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think.